Right now you're sitting in uh, our lovely little greenhouse here at Østergro and we are on a rooftop of an old car exhibition hall. So this whole roof used to be a place for selling cars on every roof and also here on the top. And that's why we can have a farm like this up um, on the roof. Back in 2007 there was a very very hard rain in Copenhagen in Denmark. Basically a lot of lot of lot of rain coming in on a very few days and in this case it was raining for a week I think like that whole um, highway out here was flooded and this whole area was really really flooded because this part of Copenhagen was so urbanized there was basically concrete all over and with the climate change coming that we know is coming and the city hall also knew they decided that something needed to be done about this neighborhood so they could change the way the water would run in the future here which was uh, basically just introducing a lot of trees in a lot of green areas instead of just hard concrete meaning when the water hits hard concrete it can't go anywhere it will go in the sewer, it will go in the basement or to flood the road and when it hits something green or something with a tree or, or grass on it it gets delayed and could actually also serve a purpose of feeding uh, plants, trees and everything and uh, that is the same on a roof like here in Østerbro so when the municipality was talking about we want to make this climate neighborhood the owner of this building, Jacques Nellement. He reached out as a private business owner and said, I have a roof here, we might use for something, because I'm not using it anymore for car exhibition hall. And uh, Livia and Christian and Sophia back then got the news of this and said, okay, we want to make a rooftop farm. Something never heard of in Denmark on Copenhagen. But uh, Livia has just been at Brooklyn Grange, the biggest rooftop farm in the world, and got this idea of actually building on the roof and figured that's something we should also do in Copenhagen because even though Copenhagen is not a city in the size of New York we still have the same issues with the lack of space and therefore if you want something to grow like this you need to be a little bit more creative and then uh, we decided that it's a good time to move in on a roof like this.